Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use Web API in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's start. First I'll open the startup.cs class. So here I am adding a namespace newtonsoft.json.serialization. Now let's move to the configure services method. Here I am calling add JSON options and I am setting the serializer for the JSON serialization. I am making use of Newton's of JSON serialization in this project. The reason being that the default serializer convert the property names to camel case. For example, if your property name is first name, then when you are accessing the property through Ajax on client side, then it will be changed to small letter first name like for example the capital letter f in the property will be changed to small letter f so in such cases it becomes very difficult to access the properties and let's say on server side you have capital f and on client side you have small f so it leads to inconsistency in the code also so to avoid that i am using newtons of json serializer which solves this problem and makes it easy to use finally i am adding the header name for the anti forgery token the same header name will be used on client side while making use of the jquery ajax function so this completes the startup.cs class code now i'll be adding a model class to our project i'll right click then add then class now i'll give it a name as person model Now I'll be adding some properties to the class. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. As you can see, I have added two properties. Both are string properties, name and date time. Now I'll be adding a controller to the project. This is a web API controller. I'm selecting the empty option. I'll give it a suitable name. So here I'll be creating an action method. And this particular action method will be called through jQuery Ajax function. This particular action method will accept an object of person model class and also return an object of person model class. As you can see, I am setting the current date time in the date time property of the percent model class object while the name will be sent from the client side. So basically the date time will verify that the call is successful and the date time is from the server itself. As you can see the percent model class object is returned back to the client. Here I am decorating the method with the HTTP POST attribute. And then I am setting its root. This particular root will be used to call this particular method through jquery ajax call the root will be set in the url property of the jquery ajax function finally i'll add a attribute validate anti forgery token to the method this particular attribute will make sure that this particular handler method validates the anti forgery token with this we have completed the web api part now let's move to the reserve page Now here I am creating the anti forgery token using the HTML helper classes. The anti forgery token function creates an HTML hidden field with the token value. Here I am starting by adding a text box and this particular text box will accept the name which we need to send to the web API controller. The next thing I am adding a button and this particular button will be used to execute the jQuery Ajax function.
So now we can proceed with the jQuery code. I'll start by inheriting the jQuery library. After that, I'm adding script tag and inside which we'll write the jQuery code or in other words, the JavaScript code. Inside the script tags, I'll start by adding a jQuery document ready function. Here I am referencing the button and I am assigning it a jQuery click event handler so that when the button is clicked, this particular event handler is triggered. So here very first thing I am creating a JSON object and inside this particular JSON object, I will be storing the value which is entered by the user in the name text box. Since we are receiving the object of person model class, so here also we have to create a similar object. Hence, here there is a property name which is very similar to the property in the person model class. Now I am creating an Ajax function. The very first property of the Ajax function is type. Since we are doing a post call, so I am setting the type as post. So the next property is URL property, and here I'll be setting the root of the web API method. Now inside the before sent event handler, I'll be setting the anti forgery token header. The value of the anti forgery token will be fetched from the hidden field choosing the name request verification token. Now you might have a question that from where I got this particular hidden field name. So for that, you need to simply run the page and do a view source and after that you will see a hidden field with this particular name. So here I am fetching the value of the anti forgery token from the hidden field itself using the name. The third property is data. Here I will be passing the person object and after that the jQuery Ajax function is a standard what we use. Hence I will not go into the explanation part. If you need to know the details of how a jQuery Ajax call is made in ASP.NET Core Razor pages. Please refer to the video on the right hand side. Inside the success event handler, I am accepting the response, which is nothing but the person model class object, and then I will be displaying the data of both the properties that is, name and date time separately inside an alert message box. Then comes the failure and error event handlers of the jQuery Ajax function. So I'll just move fast forward in it. So with this, we complete the jQuery part and in turn we complete our project programming part. Now we can run the project and see it in action. So in the text box, I'll enter my name. Now I'll click on the button. As you can see, my name as well as the current date time from the server is displayed using JavaScript alert message box. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to create a web API and also we learned how to call it using jQuery Ajax in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.